What up YouTube, it's your boy CJ back with another video. And if you're new to the channel, here I cover content on my 2017 Road King special named Darkness. And in today's video, I have a complete walk around video of all the mods and all the things I've done to Darkness over the three years that I've owned her. Uh, it's a video that I get a lot of requests for, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, but first, uh, roll the new intro. Starting up front, I changed out the stock Harley 19-inch turbine wheel for a 21-inch turbine replica from Metal Artopia. The rear wheel is still the stock 18-inch turbine that came on the bike. The white wall tires are Shinko and they're the 777s. Along with changing the 21-inch wheel, I upgraded the front forks by inserting Legend Axio 21 cartridges. The front and rear brake rotors are from Lindell Brakes and these are the Bowtie Breakout Rotors. Along with these, I run the Lindel Z Plus brake pads to preserve the black finish. The front brake calipers are the stock Brembo calipers that come with the bike, but these have been reworked by Willie Shiny. This is an exchange program where you send him your stock cores and he sends you back a reworked core that looks like this. I also replaced the stock front axle with a flush mount front axle from Clockworks. The front fender is the stock fender which I had stretched to better fit the 21 inch front wheel. I also had the rivets removed to give the bike a custom lowrider Vikla look. The fender was stretched by Engel Brothers Fabricators out in California and you can go back on my channel and check out a previous video of mine where I go over all those details. The chin spoiler is from Bad Dad and this is the Performance Series chin spoiler. The LED headlight and LED passing lamps are from Hogworks and the LED turn signals are from Custom Dynamics. I get a lot of questions on my channel about the auxiliary lights themselves and so what I was going for on this build was the look of the Road King Standard and its auxiliary lights. I know there are a bunch of different auxiliary light kits out there but I wanted the traditional towel bar and lollipop turn signals so it could be identical to the Road King Standard which to me is iconic. So I had to source all of the housings, visor trim, etc. in chrome and have them powder coated gloss black. From there, I brought the parts to my local indie mechanic who figured out how to wire the lights into the bike. Here's the parts list I assembled if you'd like to do the same on your Road King special. The tri bar trim you see here in this pic is from Wyatt Gatlin and they came in chrome but I had them powder coated gloss black. And I also had the headlight and passing lamps tinted using a company called Laminex, which makes pre-cut tint film. The handlebar I'm running is the tradition handlebar from Steady Custom Cycles. These are 16 inch in rise with a 1.5 inch diameter. And I also run the Steady Custom Cycles matching 1.5 inch tradition engine guard. The grips are Vidi Design out of Italy. And I first saw these on Jet Films, so big shout out to John Tagli. And the mirrors are Arlen S Mini Stockers. The fork lock cover is from Marlin's Covers. Darkness originally started out as a 107, but I had it upgraded to a complete SNS 124 big board kit. And here's a list of all the parts. It was built and dyno tuned by Chuck Appenzeller at Throttle City in Levittown, Pennsylvania. And it's currently putting out 124 horses with 136 foot pounds of torque. In order to support this build, I also went with a Man of War compensator an AIM variable clutch plate, and a Thundermax oil cooler fan. The air cleaner is the SNS Stealth Air Cleaner, and I'm currently running their Tribute Air Cleaner cover. The footboards and brake pedal are from Cyclesmiths out in California, and this is their Shredder collection. On the other side of the bike, I'm rocking the Thrash and Supply Shifter Peg and Easy Shift Inner Arm Lever, a Santoro Fabworks Shift Linkage, a Bobby C Customs rear transmission lever cover, Figurati Designs swing arm covers, and an Alloy Art M8 Touring Stabilizer. I went ahead and replaced the stock horn with a Wolo mechanical horn, which I also had powder coated gloss black because it only came in chrome. And all I can say is my wife hates it, but it puts a smile on my face whenever I hear it. The stock gas tank has been debadged 
and the tank console insert has been replaced with a Road King standard insert and has been painted vivid black. The black ignition switch is from Drag Specialties. I replaced the stock speedometer with this Dakota Digital MLX series speedo and as you can see it provides much more diagnostic information than the original speedo does. The gas cap is the Harley flush mount gas cap. The solo seat I'm running was originally a La Para Silhouette seat, which I had reupholstered at McCoy's Upholstery out of my hometown of Queens, New York. Also, shout out to Pancho out in California from Una Vida. It was his seat on his bike that served as the inspiration for this seat, and I first saw it on Tales of a King here on YouTube. Big shout out also to Big Bob from Road King Nation. The saddlebag guards are also from Steady Custom Cycles. These are a 1.25 inch Tradition Series and these are the ones that allow you to run the optional bag guard rails, which I run with my fishtails when I go full vehicle. The saddlebag bottoms are the stretched ones from Advan Black and the lids are the stock lids. The latches on the saddlebags are from Kuryakin and I'm so OD that I even blacked out the locks. The rear rack is from Motherwell Products. I also run the Advan Black stretched rear fender insert and the tail lights are Ciro 3D LED Fang inserts. For the rear shocks, I'm running JNR Air Ride with ride height repeater. This is what the shocks look like fully aired up and I keep it at a ride height of about 13 inches. For the exhaust, I'm currently running the Chromeworks Dominator full exhaust with performance baffles. I had the end caps and heat shields powder coated gloss black. Here's a quick cold start video so you can hear what the Dominator sounds like with the performance baffles. My latest mod this season has been the Dirtbags California Manual Center Stand, which is a simple yet elegant mod that gives the bike a killer stance. And that's all I have for today, gang. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I really do like reading the comments. So anything you guys can leave me, um, you know I answer them questions um, as soon as I get them. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care. Peace.